An Oklahoma farm boy from Okarchi is one step closer to becoming a saint. Thousands packed the Cox Convention Center in Oklahoma City last weekend to witness a once-in-a-lifetime event. The lines wrapped around the building. People from all across the country stood for hours to take part in a truly blessed event. They all came to see Father Stanley Rother officially blessed by the Catholic Church. How incongruous it is with somebody who was from Okarchi, who never put himself forward very much, who uh, thought of himself only as a, a kind of pastor in this faraway place, separate from the kinds of things that go on in among the clergy and the people of Oklahoma City. Inside, Guatemalan musicians filled the halls with the sounds of their mountain village. Elme Pablo is one of 20 that made the journey from Guatemala. Here it's kind of calm, it's just like the mass and everything. In my town right now, there's a lot of parades, a lot of music, everyone screaming in the streets. We are really happy, it's full of joy in San Diego, Atitlania. Stanley Rother grew up on this farm near Okarchi. His youngest brother Tom and his sister Marita took part in the ceremony. A good brother, but you know, little teas once in a while. And but normal, just ordinary kids on the farm, and uh, we work together a lot on the farm. A few years after he was ordained, Father Rother was sent to Guatemala where he would find his life's calling. But the right-wing government was silencing any whispers about land reform, and the church became a target. He had personally witnessed the, the kidnapping of, uh, of people from, from the, 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 the church property taken away in an army jeep and their, their bodies tortured almost beyond recognition. Stanley Rother was told his name was on the death list. When family and friends implored him to come home, he responded, the shepherd must not run. Yeah, they shot, they had him down apparently and he was struggling with them. They shot him and the bullet went through and lodged in the floor. So that is a sake of the room at that place. On Saturday, Cardinal Angelo Amato officially beatified Father Rother. His martyrdom, if it still fills us with sadness, also gives us the joy of admiring the kindness, generosity, and courage of a great man of faith. The 13 years spent as a missionary in Guatemala will always be remembered as the glorious epic of a martyr of Christ, an authentic lighted torch of hope for the church and for the world. Investigators from the Vatican exhumed Father Rother's body and are interviewing people in Guatemala and in the U.S. They are looking for signs of a miracle. Once a miracle is discovered and approved by Rome, the Pope declares him to become a saint. You know, even if this is the end of it, as far as that, it's, he's a saint to the rest of us. His friends, his family, and the people who came to Oklahoma City say they are grateful, not just for blessed Stanley Rother, but for his example that no one has a greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. <laughs>